Howdy folks, we are on a hike today and I'm going to go set my hammock up and uh, kind of show you my system and how I do it. Everyone has their own little way and set up, so I figured it'd be a good idea to show mine. I'm out of breath already, I just started this. My feet are a little wet because it rained. There's a 95% chance it's gonna rain while I'm out here. Um, so we'll see what happens. Also, 95% of you are now subscribed. Yeah, we'll just throw that in there right off the bat. If you wouldn't mind, pause the video, go hit the subscribe button. You don't have to hit the bell. I don't I don't post often so it won't bother you, but hit the subscribe, please. Okay, now that I'm done begging and the crows are screaming at me for doing it, let's get back to the uh, the hike. Okay, so the very first thing you need to look for when you're going to hang a hammock or tarp is two suitable trees and you want to look overhead and make sure nothing is dead or about to fall down kind of thing make sure they're good solid trees so what I've got here I just kind of walked into the bush a little bit I've got this tree right here this smaller one there's a bigger one behind it but I'm gonna go with this smaller one here look up it's nice and alive and then I'm gonna go across to this one right here also good solid tree it's dead halfway up um, but it's it's a huge tree well not huge but it's a good sized tree so that's not gonna come down from a hammock um, if it was super windy out there are some thinner dead trees I would not hang my hammock here um, you got to watch out for that they call them widow makers uh, but since I'm just setting it up and showing you how I set it up I'm not going to be laying in it or camping in it or doing anything like that so this is going to work for what I'm doing so yep gotta watch out for that though the next thing you need is a hammock and a tarp so what I've got here is from Hemlock Mountain Outdoors uh, this is the Coyote Pack hammock and this is the 12 by 9 Sil Poly tarp so I'm going to be, I think I'll hang both of them up. And I forgot to bring my attachment to set my phone up on here. So the camera angles are going to be kind of weird for this one. Oops. Stay. I've got it set up very sketchily on a branch. So start with the tarp. I've got everything in here I need to hang it. So I've got my ridge line right here which I will string between the trees and I've got all my toggles and stuff that I will use as well so I'm going to start with the ridge line obviously because that's what the tarp hangs on so what I've got is um, a quick deploy ridge line so I've got it wrapped up in a way that lets me basically wrap this part around the tree and just pull it and it'll come undone without tangling or anything like that and I've got these loops on it which are prussics which is what the tarp will attach to so I will get this strung around a tree right here and I'll show you how this all works so I wrap that around like that and then it's just connected without actually being tied around anything. So if I pull this toggle out, the whole thing will just come undone. So now all I have to do is just pull this and it comes undone without tangling. And we come all the way over to this tree. And then I'm gonna do a trucker's hitch with the leftover to get some tension on the ridge line. So now that the ridge line is wrapped around the tree, it's not tied or anything, I'm going to make a loop in this line by twisting. Just get a twist in it and then bring it through itself. And then you've got a loop. And then I run this end of the line through the loop and pull it tight.
and there you go. There's a basic trucker's hitch. And you've got a nice, could be tighter, but again, I'm not actually keeping this up, so. That is our ridge line up. Okay, so we've got the tarp hung up now. Uh, we've got it right in the middle. So you're gonna take your middle tie-out point here. You're gonna run your Prusik loop line through it. And then you're gonna take your toggle. And I've got these little cutouts in the center just to help keep it centered. Less chance of it falling off that way. You can just slide that on there. And then with one hand carefully, you pull it tight. And once you get tension on both sides, this, is, this will be a lot tighter. So we'll go do the other side now. Okay, so we've got the other side on, same thing as before. So we're just gonna pull this. And once it hits there, well, it's as far as we can go. So we'll go to the other side to tighten it. And then, once it's tight, you can see that the tension on the Prusik loop here does not let it come back. So once it's tight, it's tight. Now we will just guy out the corners, which I just leave lines on it. These are just short lines, so I just leave these on all the time. And then I just pull it out and stake it. So there we have it. That is this side staked out. And obviously if it's super windy, there are extra tie outs along here that you would stake out as well to keep it from flopping around because you do get some movement, but it's not going anywhere. And I'm not gonna stake out that side because I have limited space here and this is just a demonstration. So you get one side and that's it. All right, so that was the tarp setup. Um, now we have to take it down. So let's take it down. Um, you can either move these prusik loops in like this to get some tension relieved, or you can just pull the toggle out. But I can't because again, I put this indented area for the rope to sit, so I can't just pull it out and come it down, but it's not hard to uh, release tension. So we will then bring the tarp. And bring, bunching it up like this makes it a lot easier to put back in the bag. We'll take this toggle out. And then we'll just grab the tarp up and throw it back in the bag. And that's that, back in the bag. Okay, so taking the ridge line down is the next step, but before you take anything down, make sure you move your Prusik loops all the way back to your first end here. And then we just go undo the trucker's hitch, which is super simple. Pull this. Pull it out of the loop, and just like that, you're off the tree. And now this loop here in the center, basically you just pull both sides and it'll come undone on its own. And then for this end, now that there's no tension on this, you can just simply pull the toggle out. And boom, it's undone. Now you just gotta wrap your cord back up. Okay, and now I've got the bowl in. This is my starting end, and I've got my prussics right here. So how we wrap this up is we take our hand, we place that, and then we wrap around our thumb and our pinky in a figure eight. And 
we do that for the entire thing. We leave about a foot at the end so that we can wrap it around itself and tie it off. And we just tie it through itself. And there we go. That's all we gotta do. Okay, on to the hammock. First thing, you get your tree straps out. Now these are real basic tree straps. You can do all kinds of different suspension methods, but I like this because it's easy and it works. It's basically it's just a strap with a loop and you wrap it around the tree and then through itself and tighten it down. So I like to start off at approximately a couple inches above eye level. And then this is just the loop on itself. And I like to have the loop end facing the direction you're going to be hanging. So that way, you're, when you're pulling on it, it's pulling on this and all the way around. It's not just pulling on the back. It's constricting and loading the entire width of the tree or circumference of the tree, not just the back of it pulling forward. Like if it was over here, it's just going to be pulling on the back of the tree and this area is going to be loose. So I like to go here so that the entire tree is taking the weight. It's better for the tree. Okay, now we'll pull the hammock out. And with the strap and cinch buckle system, this is the end that you will attach to the strap. So it just slides in underneath, like so. And then you let the thing drop down and go through and then once that's pulling tight it locks down on itself so it can't move and there we have it there's our hammock hung and again, this is the Coyote Pack from Hemlock Mountain Outdoors. I am not sponsored at all. Uh, I bought everything here with my own money. I just really love his stuff. Built-in bug net is awesome. It's very wide and it's 11 feet long, so you get like a really comfortable lay. We're going to take it down now, continue our hike, and uh, just enjoy the day. Okay, so this was a really cool spot. Now we are going to sneak out of here. and get back on the hiking trail. So that was my horrible video on how to set up a tarp and hammock. Um, I'm not good at this, clearly. So it probably wasn't overly helpful, but hopefully it was a little helpful. Oh look, it's my buddy. Alright, so that's going to bring this one to an end. Thanks for watching if you've watched all the way through. Make sure you uh, hit like and subscribe and all that good stuff because it really does help me out.
if I see people are actually like, interested in this stuff, I'll keep doing it. Uh, I do like doing this, but it is a lot of work. So, yeah, that's it. See you in the next one. B-roll. So annoying. No one ever talks about it.